Welcome to another Business Tech Planet video. Today, we'll show you how to get feedback in SharePoint using Microsoft Forms. First, we'll create a form in Microsoft Forms. Then we'll add the form to a SharePoint page. Next, we'll show you how to collect and view the results. And finally, we'll show a brilliant tip for adding styled forms to SharePoint. While Power Apps provides more controls over form making in SharePoint, the simplest way to add forms to your site is using Microsoft Forms. To follow along, head to forms.office.com and click New Form. Add a title at the top. We're making a feedback form to demonstrate, but you can name yours anything you like. Add a description so users know what the form is for. You'll notice a green bar below, from which you can choose various form elements. Hit the drop-down arrow to reveal additional elements, such as file uploads, which we'll be using later. For now, we'll choose text. Enter the question or information you want the users to enter. Toggle on required, or leave it off if the answer is optional. Head back to the green bar to choose a new form element. We're adding an email box to our feedback form. Next we'll select choice from the green bar, which means users can choose from various possible answers. This will allow the user to specify what the feedback is about. We'll create options for general feedback. Bug reports. And feature requests. To display the options in a select box, click the three dots and click drop down. Next, we want a space for users to enter their feedback. To do that, Enable long answer at the bottom. Finally, we want to give users the option to add attachments. We can do that by clicking the down arrow in the green bar and selecting upload file. We'll call this question attachments. Select how many files the users can upload and the maximum file size. We'll also toggle off required. Now the forms complete we can head up to the top and click collect responses. Here, click copy link, and then head over to SharePoint. In SharePoint, open your site and go to pages in the left menu. Then head up and click new, and select site page from the dropdown. Add a title. We'll call ours feedback. Then hover just below the title box, and click the circular plus icon. In the drop-down, scroll down and look for Microsoft Forms. Or type Microsoft Forms into the search bar at the top. We've already created our form, so select Add Existing. Now head over to the right side and paste the link into the form web address box. Next, head down. Leave Collect Responses selected. Then click OK. Now we've added the form to our site page, we can head up and click the Publish button in the top menu. Once published, you can copy the page address and distribute the link to people in your organization. Now we've created our form and added it to a SharePoint page, we can begin collecting results. Let's quickly enter some answers into the form, to use as an example. Now we've got some results, head over to Microsoft Forms. Click Responses in the top left. Here, you can find an overview of the responses. For more details, click View Results, where you can find the answers from each respondent. To delete individual results, click the three dots, and select Delete Response. Let's head back. Here, you can find an option to open in Excel, which you can use to visualize the data in more detail. If your form doesn't look the way you expected, there's another method you can use that will retain the form style in SharePoint. To do that, head up and click Edit. Then select the form, and hit the bin icon to remove it. Now click the circular plus icon again, and this time select Embed from the drop-down menu. Next, head back to Microsoft Forms, 
hit collect responses, and copy the link again. Once copied, go back to SharePoint. You can paste the link into the web address box, however, users will be directed away from your page to fill out the form. Alternatively, enter the on-screen code to embed the form in an iframe. Set the height to anything you want. For long forms, make the height bigger. When you're done, the form should appear on your site page. Finally, head up and click Republish. That's it. We now have our styled form embedded on our site page. That's all for this video. If you found it helpful, why not buy us a coffee? We'd really appreciate it, and you'll be helping us grow the channel. Thanks for watching. Remember to check the description for additional resources. And don't forget to subscribe for more Microsoft videos.